be quotable. Make it memorable so that person can pass your information along to an interested friend. There should be some phrases that sum up what you do succinctly. You might deliver your memorable quote in a casual way like this. I often tell clients that when they need to talk to the top brass, our presentation programs open the door. And above all, keep it brief. You know, people have short attention spans. Think about it. They're good to 30 second and 60 second TV spots and those screen changes on there hold their attention somewhat. Keep in mind how often you're tempted to run out and get a snack while you're watching TV or flip the channels. And then you want to end your elevator speech with a question to engage the other person in dialogue. If you just end that speech or your pitch, you'll typically get a pleasant hmm or a polite, that's nice. And then a silence that leaves both of you very uncomfortable. But with a question, the other person can either respond to you briefly and change the subject if not interested, or continue about the challenges you just raised in your conversation, which of course is ideal. The elevator speech, more appropriately, really should be called an elevator conversation. The point is that they should be something that sounds like your, your elevator speech should be something that sounds like an exchange that might happen between two strangers on the way up from the first floor to the 50th floor. When that elevator door opens, the person hearing that speech should just want to linger in the hallway and continue that dialogue.